Hello, my name is Carl Rowan with Sherline Products. Uh, we're doing this video to show you how to remove your ball screw and your ball screw assembly from your mill if you should happen to have an older style ball screw that has the taper uh, fit to the coupler with the preload nut. We have a, a new design. We've had two of these that have broken, so we changed the design to something that's much more rigid, um, guaranteed not to break. So this video goes over how to remove the components you need to so you don't have to send your entire mill in. Once these components are removed and you send them back to us, we will modify your existing lead screw, put in the new preload nut components, reassemble the entire unit and send it back to you for assembly. So this is the Z axis um, and basically you just have to remove two key components. One of the two 1032 screws right here and the other one is going to be the two 1032 screws right here. Once they're removed the entire assembly should come right out. You don't need to remove your saddle, your headstock, anything else. This is just for your ball screw removal. So this guy here These are 832s, 1032s there, these are 832s, just a little smaller. Okay, and they're in there. Okay. Once those two screws are removed, Two screws are removed. Then your entire assembly. You just pull straight out. Leave your whole axe, your column saddle assembly, assembled just the way it is. Uh, if the screw is broken, this is going to be in two pieces. Put a piece of tape or a rubber band around both sides of the screw on either side of the nut so that this nut does not work its way off. If it comes off and the balls fall out, this ball screw is scrap. So uh, tape it, rubber band it, just make sure that this guy can't thread its way off of the screw. Once that's done, we don't need your stepper motor either. That's one less thing to ship and one less thing to get damaged by the UPS man. Okay. Find the set screw just by turning the hand wheel. It's in your coupler. Okay. It will take some force to break it loose. I use small wrenches of cheater bar. Okay. And then you've got your four screws, your four 832 screws that are holding your stepper motor in place. Alright. Hold on to all your screws. Stepper motor should come right out. So this is your Z-axis unit that you'll be shipping back to us. Once you've got the rubber bands on either side of the, the ball nut, this gets wrapped in bubble wrap or something equivalent to that and placed in a box so that it won't get all dinged, uh, bent, or damaged. This is our XY axis for your mill. The column has been removed. You don't need to remove yours. You can, it's not necessary. Uh, the Y-axis accordion cover has been removed from this. This is going to be the same way as the Z-axis where we're just going to remove the two screws here, the three screws that hold the mount in place, and we're just going to remove the entire Y-axis. 
So again, you just break the two 1032s loose. Then on this side here, you have a 1032 and two 832s. I'm going to flip this over to make it easier to work on. And we've got one 1032. Two 832s. And while it's upside down, I'm going to take these all the way out. Okay. Uh, a note right here if your machine has a Y axis cover on it, there would be a uh, square shim piece that was on your 1032 screw to act as a spacer for this. Make sure you don't lose that shim. It's going to have to go back on when you reassemble the new the new ball screw assembly. Uh, take this guy off. Okay, I'm going to remove these guys. comes out. Again, if this screw is broken, it would be broken right here, and this would be two pieces. And again, you want to put a rubber band or tape around either side of the nut so it can't come off. And then we just remove the stepper motor the same way as we did on the Z-axis. So you will be shipping the stepper motor uh, mount, the components inside, this mount, and your ball screw, wrap it in bubble wrap or equivalent, and you should be able to send all three of these screws to, to us in one box. Uh, they shouldn't get damaged if you have a bubble wrap. There's no real weight here. So that's your Y-axis. The X-axis, you have two 832 screws and two 1032 screws. So we'll break these guys loose. So these are all just loose right now. A note for the for all of your axis, in order to have easy access to your, your mounts right here, if your table's all the way up against the side of the saddle or the front of the base, just move it before you start doing this to give yourself adequate room to get to all your access to all of your screws for your mounts. All right. Then we got the two 1032s right here. So I'm going to take these out first. holding this so it doesn't just fall down when the screw comes out. Once the screw is disconnected, the entire assembly comes out. And again, I would spin your ball nut up to about the midway point, taper rubber bands on either side so it doesn't come out. Uh, then we would remove this stepper motor also like we did on the Z-axis. And again, you're just sending your ball screw and this whole assembly right here. So that's three screws all in one box. Send them back. We will modify your screws, uh, put the new, uh, new design couplers in there, reassemble it, make sure it's all good, send it back. And the next video will show you how to reassemble your three ball screws into your machine. Thank you.